This video is going to show you how to get to Gale eBooks from home and access the materials. So you'll be given either a link from class links or you can go to subscription databases and resources. Either way, you must go to a specific link you've been given. Do not just Google Gale eBooks. You'll be redirected this particular login screen at home and you'll have to put in your student ID number and your password. When you're logged in, you'll see the screen and you'll be able to search for a topic at the search bar here. You can begin by doing a simple search for one thing, such as a mythological figure. I'm going to show you in this particular case how to determine which of these articles might be better for a particular need. I've been Athena here and click go. I have a variety of articles that come up. So this first one right here says Athena. If I want to get to the article, I actually have to click on the name Athena itself. On the left hand side, it says Gods and Goddesses. Gods and Goddesses is actually the name of the book it's in. So I'm going to look through here and see which one's best. This first one I might not want to do because it's eight pages long. So for Athena, I might choose, let's say, the second one or keep going down and I might, there's this one also. So I have to kind of decide based on the length of it the focus, and what makes sense for this project. In order to move this reference article into Notability, you're going to have to click Print at the top of the page. You're going to see a print preview. You're going to just need to pinch your fingers out to get this full-size screen. Look for the right Share arrow at the top, click on it, and then Notability. Create a new note, and then Import to move this into Notability. The other option is to click download and get this new screen. You're going to also do the same thing where you click the share arrow at the top and notability to create a new note in this case. It is a very different looking view, but the same article. You can then find the citation for the article at the top of the page where it says cite. Click on this and an MLA citation will be given to you. You can copy and paste this into Noodle Tools and you'll have to tweak it to make sure it is accurate. After that, you can go into Notability and find the article that you have downloaded and begin to read it and annotate it.